Oh shit, was that today? Well, my calendar told me I should get a girlfriend, and since I get off on being told what to do, it's high time that I get one. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want this? The ladies love me. Just last week, one complimented my scalp, and another one described me as a degenerate. You know, now that I'm really thinking about it, I may need a little help. And what better way to get me prepared than with dating sims? Asagao Academy is a dating sim where you can date YouTubers, specifically people from normal boots. This is honestly surreal for me. I grew up watching people like Peanut Butter Gamer, John Tron, Space Hamster, The Completionist, and even now I still watch Pro Jared and Cat Icarus. So seeing these people in front of me in a video game is interesting to say the least. Enough of that, it's time to d -d 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 date! So I play as Hana, a short girl who likes anime and has short pink hair. She is a transfer student to the Asiago Academy, made by rich people for rich people. It's in Japan. Why? All of the real people they used are either American or British, so why are we in Japan? On the train right there, I meet someone. Oh my god, Jared? Oh, he's so hot. Oh my god, he is just so hot. Wow, it's Jared. Oh my god. What? You don't know who Pro Jared is? How could you not know who Pro Jared is? Everybody knows who Pro Jared is. It's not like there was some recent controversial events that would throw him into the limelight. Nope, no siree, he's just really cool. I get there, get a quirky roommate named Mai, who definitely knows she's in a dating sim. Something that Doki Doki Literature Club would shamelessly steal one year later. I then spend some time meeting people in the Normal Boots Club and oh my god, Jared, he's so hot. Wow, he's a model? Wow, that's so cool. Oh my god. I spend a lot of time with the Normal Boots Club. Like a few hours of gameplay. This is supposed to be an intro where I get to know these people on a surface level. I don't need this much exposition. There's a big video game tournament coming up and the club really likes those. I really like the big video game tournament. The Normal Boots Club is the most exclusive and popular club in the school. I guess. I think it's just some friends who made a club and people got really obsessive over it. Anyway, Hana gets physically assaulted by some of their members, and now we can sit at their table! Oh my god, that's so cool! Lunch with the Normal Boots Club? Oh, my heart's all a flutter. I get invited to join their friendly Smash tournament to get some friendly practice in and be good friends and have a gay old time and I killed him. I killed John Tron. Oh my god, Jared, he's so hot, I so wanna date him. But Mai also wants to date him. Should I really be putting my only friendship here at this new school at risk for some boy? I know very well that she's interested in Jared, and for me to show up and steal her love interest in only a couple of weeks would be a real bitch move. Jared. Alright, so we're dating Jared. We go to the flower festival and look at flowers. I could do that myself, I don't need no man, I'm a strong independent woman. Raw meat just looks so edible. You know those like packages of like ground up raw beef and they, they look like noodles? I could just slurp those up. Raw bacon, I could just eat it like prosciutto. It just, it all looks so edible. And I'm scared that that is going to prevent me from working in the meat industry. Oh, Jared, what are you, what are you doing there? Hey, guys! He then invites me to a tea ceremony because his family is so woven into Japanese traditions. Jared Nobenbauer, the man from Wisconsin. Well, he asks us if he wants to be his girlfriend, but you know, I'm not gay or anything, so I'm gonna just say no and... <laughs> Okay, so we're dating now. Jared hugs us in public, we don't like that. He plays D&D &D like a nerd. He gets stung by just so many bees and then asks us to be in the fashion show? Me? But I have low self-esteem and crippling debt. Well, it seems like the only way I can get through this is with underage drinking. I can't believe 
that alcohol and anxiety only resulted in failure. Jared takes the fall for this, and his bitch of a mother doesn't like that. Or me. You know what they say, live and learn, something something no tomorrow. Live and learn, do it now, please take the shot, yeah. Now it's time for the big video game tournament. Wow, it's time for the big video game tournament. It's about time for the big video game tournament. Everybody ready for the big video game tournament? Because we're all here for the big video game tournament. And it's time for us to game. Now Jared and I reenact how I met your mother by meeting his bitch of a mother, and surprise surprise, she's a bitch. We reject her and everything is good, and will always be good, forever. The end. I got the best ending, but I, I still feel empty inside. Could it be that dating sims aren't a replacement for real human interactions? Next up is speed dating for ghosts. This is perfect, all my documents say I'm legally dead, so it'll be easy to get a date. So we are given three rooms filled to the brim with bachelors and bachelorettes. And all we have to do is take the first step. The room of palms. Well, I do have palms. So we have a football player named Riley, a bush named Steph, and this disgusting, horrific creature. What even is this thing? A oh, woman, humming, humming, I'm sold. Ready? Wait, this date isn't fun. All we're doing is reconciling with her having to abandon her daughter due to being murdered by the Mafia. Oh well, maybe the room of liars will be better. Okay, so in this room we have a shy little bitch named Kyo, a crime boy named Leon who wants me to rob a bank, and <gasps> Spooky Peter, my beloved. What a wonderful young boy that Spooky Peter is. If I ever have a firstborn, I'm naming it Spooky Peter. But, you know, I'm kinda in a crime kinda mood, so I'm gonna go with Leon to rob a bank. All I have to do is prove I'm not a narc. Should be easy enough. I'm not a narc. What do you mean? Okay, so we're at the bank and all we have to do is sneak in. I rolled a natural one on stealth. So last up is the Room of Black. I don't know if I should go in there. In here we have Ew, gross, yucky, Ball's grandma, and ah! a vengeful spirit named Gary. I like the cut of his jib, so I'ma date him. Look at him in his cute little bow tie, and we learn that he murdered his friend in cold blood. Not the worst date I've ever been on. Well, I'm dead tired of ghosts, so let's try Demon Girls instead with Helltaker. My only goal is to get a harem full of demon girls. So what I have to do is descend into the depths of hell and find women. Not just any women, but women in suits. Well, sign me up. I have to do some puzzles and a boss fight, but eventually I'm able to get all the demon girls into my house. We got Just Panda Monica, Lust, Dog, Gamer, Wrath, Binding of Isaac, The Cool One, Girl Boss, and Judgment Day. Yeah. Uh, what do I do now? Well, I could always find all the secrets and unlock Beelzebub. I did that. What else? Well, Van Ripper, the creator of this game, released a new chapter and a new character, Loremaster. I'm already a fan of Lore, so this is perfect. And she's the fallen angel, Azazel, and she took over Hell. A woman of power, ho ho! But you don't really get to date her, or any of them. You just collect them like Pokemon and keep them in your house. So we have to search for alternative means. Second Circle is a fan dating game of Helltaker. FINALLY! After all these years, we can finally date demon girls in suits! 
They all have new outfits and I really like them all. So what you do is you go on dates. You go on date after 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 I don't know what I expected. Yeah, so things haven't really been working out for me so far. Maybe instead of demons or ghosts, I should try Lovecraftian horrors. Ever since I figured out what sex was, there was one thing that I always wanted to do. Fuck Cthulhu. And now I can with Sucker for Love, first date. FINALLY! After all these years, I can finally- <laughs> What? I mean, that's fine, I can work with this. It's not like Cthulhu has a definitive gender or anything. I can like tits. Speaking of tits, this is Lynetta, the eldritch horror that we want to smooch. She's a cute girl with the personality of girlfriend, if, with a little bit of zoid we're going on in the smoochin' area. And that is the main goal of the game, to smooch horrors beyond my comprehension. I better wash my face to calm down. Good idea! Yeah, I definitely look like that. Well, now it's time for my date with Lynetta and... Yeah, maybe things are moving a little bit too fast for me. We should break up. You know, maybe I was too harsh. Maybe I was just scared of being in an intimate relationship. I could be missing out on the relationship of a lifetime due to my own insecurities. So, all right, I'll date Lynetta and she destroyed reality. Let's date her sister. Her sister is Missy, the King in Yellow, which is a horror I haven't heard of before. From what I gathered, it's a play where people go insane by the second act, and this is a personification of that. Uh, how did you even get in here? Your window is open. What? No it isn't, bitch. What the hell? So now let's see the King in question, and... Mm, allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, King in Yellow, heiress to Carcosa. And I'm sure. Eh, I think I would have liked it better if she was wearing a more kingly outfit. I honestly would have preferred if she looked like one of her subjects, or even if it was one of her subjects. I'm not gay, but I would have liked the masquerade look. Now we have to choose between Lynetta and Estier, the king in yellow. So the first date was some real Lovecraftian horror. I was legitimately scared during the date. This date is like a Disney sitcom plot. Oh, how can you get away with dating two girls at the same time? Ooh. So I'm a sucker for the theatrics, so I'll date a steer. 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non-Euclidean geometry are smoking. They've got curves I can literally get lost in. Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? Oh yes, quite, of course. Those peasants and the rituals, yes, quite. That is what the common folk would do. Whereas I only partake in the finest of uh, blood sacrifices. More blood for the blood god. So she wants me to perform her play, and since I am such the theater kid, I do it perfectly first try. She wants me to wear a mask now. So I perform that, then she wants us to feed her. Then I perform the final scene, where she stabs me and I fucking bleed out on the floor. Okay, we're married now. Let's date her aunt. So now there's her big, strong, tall, big-breasted, beautiful cat aunt Nyanlothotep. Amongst us. And now I just play Five Nights at Freddy's and she's terrified of me. Literally. Because I, the man with zero experience in women, managed to seduce every single eldritch horror I've come across. So I've dated demons, ghosts, eldritch horrors, and YouTubers but still no humans. Maybe that'll change with our next game, Hatful Boyfriend Damn It. So Hatful Boyfriend is a game where you date pigeons. Great, just what I wanted. <laughs> I'll name my character Bitch Man. It'll be really funny when the characters come on screen and call me Bitch Man. Damn it, I forgot how Japanese names work. Yeah, believe it or not, I'm not too interested in dating pigeons, so let's just pick one real quick. Uh, you, Rich Bird. This bird is rich, so I'll date him with no ulterior motives. I joined the school council with him, went to a festival with him, tried to go to a haunted house with him, but I misclicked. 
though my mouse was over the actual option to go to the haunted house with him, but it still clicked the other option, went to his house for a Christmas party, went to a shrine and he was also there, then he went to my cave and was sad and the game is over now. Why am I doing this? I'm not gonna get a girlfriend by playing dating sims. I need to be putting myself out there, talking to real people, and being less misogynistic. It's about time that I leave my house, touch some grass, dismantle the patriarchy, and get myself a girlfriend. Hey girl, how would you like to be in crippling debt? <laughs>